When you're building a business, there's never enough time in the day. And while you're busy doing all the things, you see other business owners delegating work to their team. Maybe that looks like a really good idea, but how do you know if it's the right time for you to outsource? In this video, you'll learn when you should start to outsource so you can make it work for your business rather than creating another headache for yourself. Also, at the end of this video, I'll tell you about an amazing resource we have for business owners who are ready to outsource and how you can find the right person for your team. So don't go anywhere. Hi there, I'm Lauren Golden here with a new episode of Free Mama TV, showing moms like you how to start and run a successful freelancing business from home. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new episode of Free Mama TV right here each and every Tuesday. Being too busy is probably one of the very best problems for a business owner to have right up until it isn't. Sure, you've got all that money in the bank, but you're feeling the stress and overwhelm, and maybe you're even struggling to keep up with the workload. That is a sign that you are trying to do too much. In order to serve your clients well and scale your business, you need time to focus on the things only you can do. Bringing other people onto your team to help you might seem like a really good idea, especially if you're juggling all the things by yourself. But if it's not the right time for you to outsource, you might end up causing more problems than you solve. In this video, you'll learn four excellent reasons to outsource so you can work out if the time is right for you. Whenever I'm reluctant to outsource a task, I always remind myself about housework. For a very long time, I insisted on doing all the housework. I thought because I could do it, I should do it. There came a point where I really didn't have time. So I had no choice but to get over it and give that work to someone else. And the moment I did, all I could think was, why didn't I do this sooner? Suddenly, instead of spending my weekends and evenings stressing out over scrubbing toilets, I was spending time with my kids, my husband, and my bed. I gave myself a chance to rest and recharge and that freedom actually helped inspire some new developments in my business. I recently found out that statistically speaking, people who outsource tasks they don't enjoy are happier. That's definitely been true for me. Giving up housework has absolutely made me a happier person. And the people who live with me would likely agree that it's made me a kinder person too. But just because you don't enjoy something doesn't necessarily mean you should outsource it. Sometimes in business, you have to do things you don't enjoy. So what are the best reasons to outsource? Here are my four favorite. First up, you are working way too many hours. Working too many hours is bad, especially if you're spending a lot of this time doing things that aren't in your zone of genius. Put it another way, if you're working 12 hour days and half of those hours aren't spent on income producing activities, it's probably time to outsource. Working crazy long hours is a slippery slope to burnout, which is bad for your health and your business. Plus it likely goes against the exact reason you became an entrepreneur in the first place. Number two, you're ready to trust someone else. One of the things I see all the time is people who just want to clone themselves. To outsource effectively though, you have to be willing to accept your way is not the only way. Business owners who are really good at outsourcing know they should surround themselves with people who complement their strengths or are better or faster at the task than they are. Yes, you've been doing things your way for a while and you've never had to answer to anyone else, but set the ego aside and let other people share their thoughts and experience. That's why you're bringing them on, right? The third way you know you are ready to outsource is that you view your team as an investment in your business. If you just wanna get stuff off your plate and you don't value outsourcing, you're probably gonna be cheap. Cheap people get cheap work and then blame the freelancer or think outsourcing isn't for them. So before you consider outsourcing, get your money mindset in the right place. Hiring contractors is an investment where you literally buy back your time. You also need to divine what success will look like for this person so that you can track the return on investment they provide for you. This could be monetary, like getting leads into your business, or time-based, like giving yourself Tuesday afternoons for massage and manicure. In order to do this, you need revenue in your business, which means you might not be able to outsource from day one. You might need to roll up your sleeves and do the work at first, but be sure to put those funds right back into your business growth. And number four, you have no idea how to do something. You're a business owner, baby, and that means you pay for things. You're always going to pay with either time or money. If you're looking to do something new in your business, you need to weigh the cost benefit of spending a bunch of time to figure it out or spending money for someone else to do it for you. If it's something that doesn't come naturally to you, it might make more sense to hire an expert while you put your time and energy into something else. 
Now, if you're ready to start outsourcing, then I have the perfect resource for you. It's called the Free Mama Matchmaker Program, and it's designed to make scaling your business simple. We'll show you how to figure out exactly what to outsource first, and then help you find the exact right person to do the work. You can learn more about the Matchmaker Program if you check out the link below this video or head to the freemamamatchmaker.com. Also, if you want to join a community of tens of thousands of freelancers, I have a Facebook group where we all come together for support and action taking tips and motivation, and they would love to hear about your job up as well. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and share it with your fellow business owners. Leave hashtag I am a free mama down below this video if you are ready to grow your team. Take 27 with the kids running around. It's going well. And just a million things running around, around my office. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done, sweet pea. Keep your voice down, please. I'm just going to start over.